the fence. Come worship at the rivers. To learn and grow. Hi, we would like to welcome you to the rivers. For your life will never be the same. I'm Pastor Don Givens. And I'm Pastor Susan Givens. And, and we, we would, would like, like to welcome, welcome you to, to come, come worship at the rivers. Amen, amen, and amen. Welcome to Rivers of Life Christian Center, Wednesday evening, words of encouragement. I'm believing God is doing great and mighty things in your life. I'm believing God is, is revealing to you things that you never even thought that you had the ability to be able to accomplish. God, our God, is manifesting greatly in the lives of those who believe. And I thank God you are of those who believe. So let's believe together. Let's pray for one another. And let's go forth in the power and strength of the Holy Spirit. I just pray the greatness of God in and upon your life and the glory of God manifesting in every step you take in Jesus name. Saints, we're, we're going to you, 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 remember, saints, you fight the good fight of faith. In everything, you fight the good fight of faith. In everything. In everything. It's not given to you. You must realize that you are greater than your opponent. You're greater than your enemy. Just far superior than the thief. So, with, with, with everything that the Lord reveals to us in the word, remember, you're an overwhelming conqueror. You fight the good fight of faith. Well, saints, remember this. Read the word. Pray the word. Obey the word. Speak the word. Once again, read the word, pray the word, obey the word, speak the word. One more time. Read the word, pray the word, obey the word, speak the word. Saints, we must have an unwavering prayer life. We must have a fasting regiment. We must read the Bible. We must obey the word. We must refrain from willful sin. Once again, we must, we must have an unwavering prayer life. We must have a fasting regiment. We must read the Bible. We must obey the word. We must refrain from willful sin. One more time. We must have an unwavering prayer life. We must have a fasting regiment. We must read the word. We must obey the word. We must refrain from willful sin. Amen. Saints, we're going to talk a little bit about ability. We're going to talk a little bit about ability. And we're talking about the ability you have as a child of God, as God's seed. We're talking, we're not talking about that which you can do based upon your own natural strength. Well, that's failed. And it will always fail. But saints, 
when we realize that God has enabled us, everything changes. When we realize that God has enabled us, everything changes. If you would, go with me to Ephesians 3. Um, we're going to look at verse 14 through 19, and, and it might be a good idea for you to read the entire chapter of Ephesians 3. And let me uh, let me read this first, and we'll and and let's hear what the what the Lord inspired to be written. Ephesians 3, beginning in verse 14. For this reason, I bow my knees before the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on the earth derives its name. Hallelujah. That he would grant you, according to the riches of his glory, to be strengthened with power through his spirit in the inner man, so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith, and that you, being rooted and grounded in love, may be able to comprehend with all the saints what is the breadth and length and height and depth, and to know the love of Christ, which surpasses all knowledge, that you may be filled up to all the fullness of God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Saints, this, when we, we're talking about, when we're talking about ability, let's, let's make it plain what we're expressing here in this, because, at this session, because ability has many different um, ways to be used in the Bible. So we're, we're, we're focusing on, uh, uh, we're putting our, uh, 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 our, our focus on the power residing in a person, the power of God in action when put forth in performing miracles, sometimes use of the miracle itself, glory to God. You're talking about ability. Um, sometimes used in the effect of the miracle in the manifestation. Sometimes it's the force of God that is made available and revealed. Sometimes this word ability speaks to being able to perform beyond physical strength, being able to perform beyond physical strength. This word ability alone is used at least 118 times in the New Testament. The Lord wants us to know that our ability is in him. With that being said, let's go back to our foundation scripture. Our foundation scripture is Ephesians 3, 14 through 19. For this reason, I bow my knees before the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on the earth derives its name that he will grant you according to the riches of his glory to be strengthened with power through his spirit in the inner man so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith that you being rooted and grounded in love may be able to comprehend with all the saints what is the breadth and length and height and depth and to know the love of Christ, 
which surpasses all knowledge that you may be filled up to all the fullness of God. Amen. And in Ephesians 3, verse 16, the Bible says this, that he would grant you, well, before we go there, I, I want to go to verse 15, and, 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 and let's, uh, let's, 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 let's take this in. He says in verse 15, from whom every family in heaven and earth derives its name. The Lord has named you. The Lord has named you because you're his. He has named you the same way he named the heavenly host. He, the Lord has made you and me his family. This is speaking about those who belong to him. Saints, we are of God. We are of God. We are called by his name for his purpose and for his, for his will. And so, let me see verse 15, from whom every family, it's not talking about every natural family. You know, it's talking about, it's talking about every family, notice this, in heaven. Look at that. In heaven and on the earth. So these are God's people that he has made a part of his household. This is God's creation that he has made a part of his household. And that includes you. You. Now let's go to verse 16. Ephesians 3.16. That he would grant to you, according to the riches of his glory, to be strengthened with power through his spirit in the inner man. Well, one of the things we notice in verse uh, 16 is that the Lord has granted you, the Lord has given you, the Lord has bestowed upon you according to his riches, according to, excuse me, according to the riches of his glory, according to the riches of his glory. Well, his riches is unlimited. His riches is far beyond that uh, of, of, of material things. And the Lord has granted that and bestowed that on you and me. It says, according to the riches of his glory. Well, we getting to his glory. We're talking about the glory of God is, is, is in the revelation and manifestation of all that he is in the revelation and manifestation of all that he is, not just all that he is, all that he has. And he has bestowed that upon you and me. Brothers and sisters, you have ability that's unlimited, untold, because this is what the Lord God, our God, is revealed to us in manifestation. And he's revealed this to us, and it is of all that he is and all that he has. He has bestowed that on you and me. Do not be moved by what you see, but rather put your trust in God. You have the ability to overwhelmingly conquer and change every circumstance, every condition, and every situation. You have the ability to do that because the Lord our God has 
granted us this. He has bestowed this upon us. He has bestowed upon us according to the riches of his glory. And his glory is not limited at uh, the revelation and manifestation of all that he has and all that he is. When you give your all to God, it becomes a self-revelation of God to you. You know from your inner man, because the Lord reveals to your inner man the greatness of the ability that is within you. This is not something that is hidden from you. This is something that the, that, that the enemy and the thief do not want you to know that you possess. God, our God, is not hiding anything from you. And, and, and the inner man, he, he not only does you, the born again creature, the inner man, not only do you know this, you can agree with this. You cannot allow yourself to be distracted by the things that happen to you. You have the ability to change the things because of your revelation of God, of what the Lord God has bestowed upon you. See, you don't walk around here in natural ability or natural strength. Uh, strength that fails that's of the flesh you are of God hallelujah saints of the most high God and, and this revelation of God it 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 manifests let me let me get myself together here hallelujah this revelation of God manifests all the goodness that God is. This revelation of God, once you get this revelation of God, this revelation of God will manifest in you, upon your life, upon your, 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 your walking and your speaking and, 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 and the, your everyday existence. This great Good, the glory of God will manifest in you all the goodness that God is and all the goodness that God is to you. It will change everything. If you will just, if we as believers, just take up, uh, just take this faith that we have and work it and massage it and realize this our faith is our assurance of things hoped for. Our faith, our faith is the evidence the, the, of things not seen, the proof of things not seen. In all of these, these, these great uh, 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 abilities of God, they work through faith. Well, faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of Christ. You never, let me tell you something, you never get tired of hearing the word, that's how faith comes. You cannot allow yourself to be deceived by the flesh or by any enemy. You love the word of God because the more you, re you, you receive the word of God, the more you accept the word of God, the more you are aware of the glory of God that is upon your life. And saints, the glory of God is upon your life. 
He's not holding this back from you. He's not. Listen, our God is a good God. And he has bestowed. Now, if there's anyone who knows good is Jesus. And Jesus made a statement something like this. Only God is good. Well, guess what? The only good God is, is through his glory, by way of his glory, has bestowed the, all the goodness that he is on you. Don't give, don't give place to the way things look like. Speak over your life. God is good to me. And he's good to me in all things, in all existence, in all that, that is, in all that, that I experience. God is good to me. You don't listen to what anyone else says about how God is not good. Jesus is not a liar. And Jesus said, only God is good. And in Ephesians 3, God says that his glory, his goodness is bestowed on you. Look, saints, I'm going to have to stop there. Amen. Um, I'm, I, I'm requesting those of you who do not know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior to receive Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. If that's you, please pray this prayer with me and mean it from your heart. Amen. Let's pray together. Lord Jesus Christ, I am a sinner. Lord Jesus Christ, forgive me of my sins. Lord Jesus Christ, save me. Lord Jesus Christ, thank you. Amen. And then there are those of you who are apostates. You willfully disobey God. You willfully disobey God. Please stop doing that. Repent of your sin. Turn from your sin and turn to the Lord. If that's you, please pray this prayer with me and mean it from your heart, which means you're going to put some action behind your prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, I turn from my sin. I turn to you. I confess my sin. I repent of my sin. Lord Jesus Christ, you, you told me in your word, if I confess my sin, you are faithful and righteous to forgive me of my sin and to cleanse me from all unrighteousness. Lord Jesus Christ, thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your faithfulness to me. I will follow you all the days of my life. Amen. My next invitation is to invite you to go to our YouTube channel. Our YouTube channel is Rivers of Life Christian Center, Chesapeake, VA. Once again, our YouTube channel is Rivers of Life Christian Center, Chesapeake, VA. Go to the YouTube site.
copy these links and send them out on every platform you have. Round up your neighbors and start a neighborhood Bible study. Use these teachings to win your neighbors, to win, to, to win your friends. Use them uh, to, to uh, encourage your family. God has a plan for you, and it's a great plan. Take advantage of these, of, of these teachings. Let them encourage you from your heart. There are some of you who were uh, uh, in ministry of different types, and you may have been accused or you may have even uh, uh, fallen short. Let me tell you something. Everyone falls short. Everyone. So you gather yourself. You bow your strength in the Lord. You pick up that ministry that God has called you to and you go forth glorifying God and helping to uh, win the lost for the Lord. The Lord is depending on you. My next invitation is, for those, is to invite you to come worship with us at Rivers of Life Christian Center. The church's physical address is 3940 Airline Boulevard, Suite 104, Chesapeake, Virginia, 23321. Once again, come worship with us at the church's physical location. We meet at 3940 Airline Boulevard, Suite 104, Chesapeake, Virginia, 23321. There's a place there for you. We're waiting to see you. We want to greet you and start uh, a, a, a relationship with you that the Lord will be glorified. Come to the rivers this Sunday. Our service times are Sunday, 10 a.m., Wednesdays, 6.30 p.m. Once again, our service times Sunday, 10 a.m., Wednesday, 6.30 p.m. Our Wednesday service is online only until further notice. Once again, our Wednesday service is online only until further notice. Visit our website. Our website is www.riversoflifecc.com. Once again, our website is www.riversoflifecc.com. This website is waiting for you, waiting for you to come explore, waiting for you to take advantage of, of, of the things, that's, the blessed things that's available to you, waiting for you to join us in prayer, waiting for you to join us in fasting. Thank you for sending your prayer request. We're praying for you, and we ask that you pray for us. Saints, go to the website and enjoy and be encouraged by what's available to you. Saints, Thank, I thank God for you. I pray God that, that you realize that you are a blessing to, to, to Rivers of Life Christian Center family. So saints, I'm gonna tell you something. You know, you better get ready. You better get ready. I'm gonna tell you something. You, you have your ears open. Here we go. Something good is going to happen to you this very hour. 
this very day, Jesus of Nazareth is passing your way. Come worship at the rivers. Thank you for watching tonight's words of encouragement. Come worship at the rivers. Thank you.